Gord, I guess uh, you've got to imagine that you like the way your guys fought back in this one. For sure. Uh, I, I thought we were a little bit tentative early on. We didn't really uh, we didn't really assert ourselves the way we did yesterday, and, and obviously it, it showed on the score uh, scoreboard there with the getting down two nothing. But they, they, I think they uh, gave themselves a good little kick in the butt there and, and scored a big goal at the end of the the first period and kept our composure and uh, and found a way to, to battle through it. And obviously the rest of the game kind of spoke for itself. Got a little physical, got a, in the third period. And were you happy with the way the guys responded? Yeah, that's the way to respond to it. And, uh, you know, I, I to take that five minute penalty, uh, you know, back in the day, Scott Stevens was laying out those kind of hits uh, left and right, and they were they were great hockey hits. And, you know, and that's the, the type of game it is nowadays is they're protecting players. But, uh, you know, for our guys to respond and kill that penalty the way they did, and was specifically when we got down five on three, uh, amazing Tommy Nelson blocking shots, uh, Andrew McWilliam. Uh, we were winning huge face-offs, and it's a huge part of it. A little bad blood developing between the two teams with those kind of headshots. Josh takes one and delivers one. Uh, you know, it's it's hockey. It's uh, the playoffs, and and you know, guys are starting to build up some rivalries. I don't know if it's bad blood or just competitive side of uh, of hockey and. They're obviously uh, strong competitors themselves, and, and uh, it's going to happen when you have two strong forces like that going against each other. What's Matt Fratton done to find his groove scoring-wise? He is, when he's skating uh, and, you know, pushing defensemen back and battling on, on those 50-50 pucks, and, and for him, the physical side is an extension of that. Uh, he, he gets his hits from when he's skating, and... And his shot is, you know, second to none on our, on our in our league, I think. And uh, you know, so it, it opens up a lot of shots for him. And uh, he, he's seizing the moment. You know, he's a, he's been two years here uh, in in playoffs, and he's been a huge contributor uh, for our team in the playoffs. He probably thinks he should be in the NHL. Uh, probably should be in the NHL. But how do you sort of walk that line with him in terms of saying you're here and you need to produce? I haven't had to, uh, you know, and, and I, I've been real fortunate with all the guys coming down and is they they know um, there's a reason why they're here and, you know, go over a case by case basis, I guess. But, uh, you know, they're they're here to improve. And, and certainly when they come down, they're, they're not uh, they're not feeling like they're Toronto Maple Leafs playing for the Toronto Marlies. They, they embrace being Toronto Marlies and, and helping the team have success and, and thereby they're going to help their cause with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Embracing the Marlies, the fans seem to really fall in love with this team. Well, talk about uh, feeding off the energy from the crowd and, you know, um, even previous to the, the kill, uh, you know, we were feeding off it and, and then after that kill, the ovation the guys got, you could just see them rise up and they, they really responded. Go back to the five on three, and it's a five-minute major. What do you say to the guys in the bench in a tie game, if anything, or do you just kind of let them play their game? And again, it's just sort of reinforcing what we say all along and, and composure, and you're going to go through these different things in, in playoff hockey, and, and whether it's you know uh, a bad hit by the other team or, or a call that you should have, uh, you think should have gone your way, or you know just taking a cheap shot that a referee doesn't see. Uh, it's composure, and, and again, get down to nothing. Um, you know, you sort of get outside your structure sometimes, try and do too much. Where our guys did the right thing, and they stayed with it, and, and uh, the battle level just rose up that much more. As nice as it's been seeing the team kind of rally back from adversity, how do you avoid getting into those situations in the, in the coming games? Uh, you know, uh, getting off to a better start, getting off to the start that we uh, that we did yesterday. Um, and if we don't, then, you know, just like I said, I think it's a matter of uh, maintaining our identity and playing to our structure. I spoke to TJ Brennan yesterday a little bit about his goal scoring back against Grand Rapids. Obviously, last year at the beginning of the season with a hat trick goal yesterday. Is there something different that you see out of his game against Grand Rapids as opposed to other teams, or just in general, he's been that, that go to back team this year? I guess he's one of those guys that, uh, you know, some, some guys respond to. Uh, Playing against different teams uh, and probably a higher level of hockey club, 
and he wants to raise his level up, and so uh, you know that's probably the response. I'm glad you're uh, so diligent with uh, finding out those things because I didn't know that about uh, last year's Grand Rapids. But uh, you know that's that's something that he, he takes it upon himself to to raise the level of his game against higher opponents. You have the Solar Bears behind you who are kind of on the brink of elimination. If they do, if they aren't able to win this series, how do you integrate those guys in with this group? Uh, we'll have to see if and when that happens. And, and right now, we don't really have a plan moving forward. We'll uh, we'll approach that as soon as, and hopefully it doesn't happen. We're hoping they uh, respond going into Florida, but uh, uh, we'll see if, if it does happen. Stuart Kersey being out of the lineup today, was that uh, like re-aggregation of injury or just a roster decision? Oh, we're not taking, uh, you know, injuries or in the playoffs or, or something that we just keep uh, keep pretty much to ourselves. Uh, you know, they're, they're, we feel like Tommy Nelson was an excellent uh, uh, option for us to put in there, and, and so uh, we, uh, you know, we felt very comfortable putting Tommy in there. What did you think of Gibson's game following the five on three, especially after he got off to a little bit of a rough start? Oh, great, great. Uh, I, I thought, uh, you know, they were they were real, uh, you know, had a real net front presence in front of them, and boy, did he fight through uh, through the screens and and. Uh, Every second chance opportunity, he was he was there battling on on those pucks, and and our D did a good job to uh, keep blocking shots that way, and and so, you know, kudos to to Gibby uh, again. Probably composure, he could have got upset down two nothing, but he stuck with it.